Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Hidden Laboratory. We're now on our final wing of Blackrock Mountain, a minor sanctum is guarded by the most powerful defence system imaginable, the Omnotron. Nefarian has escaped. Follow him after you disable his laboratory's defence system. This hero that we will be facing gradually summons greater and more powerful robots. So, I'm going to pick my zoo deck. Uh, Zoo is a uh, mainly warlock, it's all about trading minions up. So you keep our board clear and you try to make sure that it's an aggressive deck that you're always keeping your board clear. So let's see how we do. Now you've probably been able to tell I've done this before but it has been quite a while, I have to admit. It's actually a good period of time between this video being out and the actual Blackrock Mountain system, Blackrock Mountain system, Blackrock Mountain Adventure being released. So let's have a look what looks good. So the power overwhelming. So definitely keep a flame imp and remove Defender of Argus. Uh, the power overwhelming's probably going to sit in my hand for a period of time, so let's remove that for now. So we've got a one, two, three. Primary defense matrix initiated. So there's nothing we can do right now. So we'll play our flame imp. That's a staple of Zudex as it's a one cost mana and you get a free two. So let's see, this is the Arachnotron. Both players have spell damage plus two. So we have a choice we can make. We need to be careful that we don't lose board control, but at the same time we can't be Unaggressive. Let's have a look. What does he do? So he earth shocks, recharges, okay, and plays a micro machine. Now that will gradually build up in power over time. So we've got three mana. We will summon the imp gang boss. That uses all three of our mana up. Next turn, the micro machine should end up being a free two. He's he's marking Gom to charge. Is he going to attack me? No, he's going to attack. So that was a smart idea, actually. So he actually was able to um, do the damage, but also retain that. So that's going to be four. If I just attack straight off of that, that'll give me one minion back. However, if I now use my Imp Plosion, that does two damage, just what we needed, and gives me three minions on the board here. So the Toxitron will wipe this board out quickly, so we need to try and Oh, okay then. Um, I was not expecting that. Let's have a look and think about this then. So, as a 2-5. I have 6 mana available. It's Defender of Argus, 2-2-1. Two, two, I'm 
Unfortunately, there's not much else I can do with this. I don't want to use my Doom Guard, is that well? wipe out my hand. I'll be, be Defender of Argus and the Rubian Egg. I think we'll have to go for it, so I'll put that as a free. I'll then summon my Doom Guard. He can remove that. The Imp can attack. And now we go to our board again. Let's put an Iron Sensei. How does this Arcane Missile work? It's probably the worst way it could have gotten that. So immediately, let's draw another card. So I can use the Defender of Argus. And let's see, will I play with it? Oh, I might as well play the Leper Gnome. I can then just try to keep that board clear. Electron is a big, big beastie, so we need to be careful about that. Now what I'll do is I'll cast Lovateb. And I'll do a straight trade. All the tab should stop him from really casting much. Now I'll draw one more card. It's all about keeping that board clear. So let's see, so that's five, nine. Fourteen, seventeen. So we're actually just short of killing him. However, I don't know, or I can't remember rather, how or what Magmatron's abilities are. And that's going to be next turn. I think I'd rather make sure that we can keep our board as clear as possible. So I'll tap once more. That gives me a taunt. So that's good. At least that's a taunt in case this is a, a charging minion. Magmatron. Whenever a player plays a card, Magmatron deals two damage them. So that's okay, so even in the worst case scenario, that's 6 damage. I can do a little bit more than that I think. So that's 3, 8, 12. Yep, so I'll do a Dark Bomb straight away on him. I'll do a power overwhelming on my Voidwalker. Bring him down to two, and then at the end there, summon my Doom Guard. He can charge in and take the Omnitron defense system down. There we go, you saved me some hefty repair costs. Thank you. And that means we're one step closer to finally defeating Nefarian. Join me next time on another wonderful trip to Black Rock Mountain. Thanks everybody. Take care. And have a great day now. Bye-bye.